say it. So here we are once again. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, I'm Latira and I also go by Ray. So do you guys do you guys see the hair? It's currently blow dried and it's in a ponytail because I do not want to deal with it. I'm going to be getting braids pretty soon here. <laughs> I spent so long doing this hair. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but I still have a whole bunch of things to do. The thing about college is like your list of things to do, it doesn't end. I have to hurry up and film this because I have class pretty soon here. I also have to finish chores. I have to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner if I even decide to eat. Then I have to do some things for TikTok, make my Instagram. It's a lot. So we are about to enter September, which is also my birthday month. I will be turning 21 in a few days here. I'm not going to really be doing much. I'm, my birthday goes, it falls on a Sunday, so I won't be able to do anything um, because I have class at 8 a.m. the very next morning. So like I do at the end and beginning of each new month, we're gonna do a wrap up, some updates, and a TBR in review. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. So first things first, writing competition update. We are all set to start on September 1st. If I post this beforehand, just get ready. If I post this on the first, you can go ahead and check out that link in my bio. I promise I'll give you guys all the information. I am so excited to get started on this. Um, how this works essentially is that there's going to be two membership options. One where you write to just share your writing and um, have a community to keep you motivated and um, chase your goals that's gonna be fun and then the other one is going to the writing competition and each of these renew every month there's gonna be new things to do every month there is going to be a small fee but that fee does support me um, all of my socials and everything so I can be able to keep creating content for you guys and yeah but September is going to be in it's going to be quite the month. I'm going to be doing stuff for my small business, doing more stuff for content. I want to try to reach 700 subscribers on YouTube, so we'll see. I have a few videos planned out for this month and I cannot wait. So that's the update. So as far as August for writing, I was not able to write much. And the reason behind that was the beginning of August, we were on vacation and I came back and everything was go, 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 go. <laughs> as far as college and I was not able to write much but I do have a plan to keep up with my writing for September I don't know why I hesitated but yeah we do <laughs> so same thing for reading I only read one book this month and guess what that book was not on my CBR Guys, I don't even know why I set a TBR for myself because at the end of the day, I am just simply going to pick up what I am in the mood to read. And yeah, but it wasn't just any book. It was this book, <laughs> Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion, which is the sequel to my favorite book ever, Legendborn. This comes out in November and I was given an arc from Simon Teen and I do have a video unboxing that. It's, you can go find it it's on my channel <laughs> and look at my tabs I don't know if you can see them but there's a lot of green and a lot of purple um this is a ride I swear I don't think I've ever felt so many emotions while reading a sequel in my life ever um the feeling that the last you know 50 pages of Legendmore gave me I felt that all while reading Bloodmarked the way Tracy just throws you into the story and <laughs> You gotta keep up. But this is a beautifully written book. I was screaming, I was crying, laughing, cheering. I wanted to throw this a few times, but then I'm like, this is the most precious thing ever. So yeah, no spoilers obviously, but you guys have to experience this with not a single hint. Well, seriously nothing. That's how you're gonna get the best experience. Like. The way you go in, you have to just go into this blind. <laughs> well, read Legendborn, obviously, because that's part one, but you cannot have a single hint. So avoid spoilers if you can. I know that a lot of ARC reviewers do, do spoil things, but just avoid spoilers. Do not spoil this book for yourself if you plan to read Bloodmarked. If, I'm still processing it, we're being honest. I think I read it a little over a week ago now. Um, the box showed up just a couple of days before I went to college, so yeah. 
This was my most anticipated read for this year and it did not disappoint. Tracy Dion is a goddess. She's a legend and I am so proud of her for pulling this off. And also, I just hope she knows that the Legendborn fandom, like especially on Twitter, like she just, she's so loved. She, Legendborn, Emily Matthews, they're all just so loved and they all mean so much to us. And yeah. But read Legendborn and then pre-order Bloodmark. This is out in November. Get ready. I promise you guys, this is an insane book. <laughs> the magic, the mystery, the thriller. Tracy Dion did say that, you know, the way Legendborn was a murder mystery in a way. Bloodmark is a court politics thriller. And trust me, she definitely put the thrill in thriller because wow, definitely a ride. A big ride. <laughs> All right. Now let's talk about what I want to read. So do you guys remember a couple of months when I, was it a couple of months? I wanna say, I don't know, a while ago when I was rearranging my shelves and I was talking about the Twisted Tales series and how I said that I was going to dedicate a month where I read all of them. Yeah, so this month I'm going to be doing that. I will be rereading as old as times. Maybe my mind will change about it, but this was the only Twisted Tale that I started and finished. I wasn't a fan of the ending, but maybe I might just read it a little slower and then I might think a little differently about it. So, like I said before, the Twisted Tale series is um, a series full of books that take like the original story of a Disney, obviously, and then they twist something and come up with a new ending or a new plot. Um, very interesting. So for this one, there's always like prompts at the top of the cover. So this one is What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast. This was interesting, the concept is interesting. Like I said before, I wasn't a fan of the ending, but I feel like if I read it slower, maybe it might change my mind. Who knows? I did read that at the beginning of 2021. So, yeah. Then we have Reflection. This is the one from Mulan. Um, what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? I'm actually super excited for this one. I do love Mulan. She's an icon. So, <laughs> and also, I love the color colors. I love the covers for each of these. Once upon a dream. So what if Sleeping Beauty never woke up? I love Sleeping Beauty. Um, I love retellings of Sleeping Beauty as well. I wanna write my own Sleeping Beauty retelling. I wanna write my own retelling for like a lot of stories. So this is it. A whole new world. So this is for Aladdin and this is what if Aladdin had never found the lamp. And the thing is, Aladdin was my favorite Disney um, movie growing up, but it wasn't because of Aladdin, it was because of Jasmine. She's my favorite princess ever. She's sassy, she has a tiger. I love her. And I love the purple here. But this looks like a much smaller book than the rest of them. I think this was one of the first ones that were written. I'm kind of curious to see how this would work because if Aladdin didn't find the lamp, then who would find it? Probably Jafar, who knows. But I'm excited to get into that as well. Then we have Part of Your World. This is the one for The Little Mermaid. What if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? So I've seen some reviews on this one and I, um, according to the reviews that this is the best one in the series. I'm looking forward to reading the plot for this. I also love The Little Mermaid, but that's mostly like my mom's thing. She loved The Little Mermaid. Love, love, loved it. What once was mine, the one for Rapunzel. What if Rapunzel's mother drank a potion from the wrong flower? This sounds super interesting. Rapunzel is an, an incredible movie. Why wouldn't you like it? And this book looks pretty thick, so I feel like it's gonna be really interesting, like world building, like magic systems. Um, this, almost 500 pages. Wow. Mirror, mirror, this is the one for Snow White. This also looks a little smaller. It's what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? I am obsessed with this cover. This is beautiful. I think I just love the gold and then, you know, the apple here and then the evil queen. Then we have Conceal Don't Feel. I remember talking about this on a previous video. So what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? I do think that, um, I don't know if that would work because they're sisters, but this one also looks small. So I can definitely tell like, this was gonna be a very fast read. I can get this done in like a day. Um, yeah, I can get this done in a day. <laughs> Unbirthday. This is also what I'm super excited about. Um, what if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very, very late? So, um, I remember growing up, I wasn't too big on Alice in Wonderland, but as I definitely like enter my teenage years, I love the story of it, but this is interesting. I've never actually read an Alice in Wonderland retelling. Wait, yes I have, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. It was kind of like a dark fantasy twist on it, but this looks super interesting and I think I was, I'm gonna love this. I'm definitely going to love this. 
also this is love this is the one for cinderella um what if cinderella never tried on the glass slipper and as um i thought about this and i was thinking about like cinderella is dead um i love that story by the way i finally read it and everyone cheered i hope <laughs> Because you guys are trying to get me to read that book for a while. It's very good though. It was a great, great take on Cinderella. Dark fantasy, woman of color main character, sapphic romance. I love the magic in that story as well. So I'm really interested to see how this turns out. I bet there'll be like more on the stepmother and the stepsisters. And perhaps maybe if she didn't try on the slipper, then who did? Maybe Fairy Godmother visited someone? I don't know. That's just a prediction. I really don't know what happens in this story. I haven't really seen too many like good reviews or bad reviews about this either. It's kind of just like a meh. So I think I'll probably read this towards the end of the month. I'm not sure. I'll space these out, obviously. And then last, but definitely not least, straight on till morning. So what if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook? Again, very excited to read this. So I feel like this will be fun. <laughs> this will be very fun. And again, these covers, they're all so perfect. I love the artwork on every last one of these. I think that's all of them that I plan to read. If I do actually make it to the end of my TBR, I'll probably pick up some more retellings because that's what I want to read all this one. I just want to read fairy tale retellings. Also, I've been reading a whole bunch of like books on, not books, but passages on mythology and astrology, but I can't exactly count those towards my TBR because they're really big books and I haven't exactly finished them. So that's also what I've been reading um, besides Bloodmarked and yeah. I do know that October I want to read a Dark Academia theme books or spooky murder mysteries or even horror stories because you know Halloween. Yeah, hopefully I'll try to get to Barnes and Noble before the sale ends because there's 50% off books until like September 5th and my birthday is on the 4th. They go on my birthday all right i think that's everything so remember to check out my writing program because it's here um if you like this video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and as always i will link the rest of my socials in the description box below love you all and hopefully i'll get through this tbr all right bye bye